Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Solo Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for November 6th through no November 12th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you just a little bit, so I'm just going to shuffle it a little bit more. I want to let you know that this may not resonate with you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Time is fluid. Whatever comes out in this reading could have happened in the past, the, re the near past, could be happening this week, or it could be happening in the very near future, okay? If you want to know about, more about me, you can watch my welcome video. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I will zoom this in when I get these all laid out. Oh, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to zoom it in a little. There we go. Basis of your reading is the judgment card. Okay, that's also the sign of karma. Right next to the devil card, which represents you, Capricorn. Okay, there is karma at play this week. Okay, just want to let you know right out of the blue. I mean, right now, karma is in play this week. All right. I feel like something is going to come crashing down if it hasn't already, okay? There's something that is going to break apart that may make you feel uneasy, okay? But it needs to happen because you need to focus in a different direction, okay? So this may have happened already, or it could be happening this week, or it could be happening next week, okay? Whatever it is, you're not going to be able to ignore it. You will not be able to ignore it. And believe it or not, it's bringing you more stability and more security, all right? I think there's, it's been a period of insecurity and instability, uneasiness. I think something's going to come crashing down that needs to crash, okay? It's going to crash. It might hurt. It might be a shock. It's definitely going to be unexpected, okay? When it happens, it's going to basically put a boulder in the road, okay? And it's gonna, the boulder is going to be right in front of you, and you are going to be forced to go one way or the other, all right? There's a fork in the road. You can only go one way. So I see a change in direction for many of you that is meant to be, okay? this We have a blessing coming in disguised as a disaster, <laughs> okay? So that's what's happening if it hasn't happened already. I feel like things have been out of balance for you. And I think this is, what that, this is why this needs to happen, because you need to bring the balance back to your life. I feel like there's been some kind of obsessions. Either somebody's been obsessed with you or you've been obsessed. I feel like there's been some kind of addictions probably at play. All right, so many of you are going through some kind of addictions and they are affecting your security and your stability. They're bringing drama to your life. I feel like you're fighting a battle that you're never, ever going to win. And it is time for you to release it. I see many of you are going to have a wake-up call. That's the basis of your reading, by the way. Um, you are going to have a wake-up call, some kind of awakening that probably asks you to forgive and to release guilt, okay? I believe that... Um, you might need to seek help, okay? You probably are feeling, you might feel like you need to seek some guidance either from above, your inner guide, or somebody that you trust, okay? Many of you will be seeking guidance over this because I, something is going to probably come crashing down. 
It does have to do with um, a relationship, I believe. This is intended to be a love reading. It feels like it needs to crash down because somebody's desires are not being met. Okay? Um, it will bring harmony and peace to your life after a period of drama. So rest assured that the harmony is coming back. Um, you're on the right path. You won't be able to ignore this um, this uh, shakeup. You will not be able to ignore it. Okay. The thing is, is don't even bother ignoring it. Just take the other path when it comes up, because it brings security and stability. It does. Just do it. It's time for you to broaden your horizons. All right. It is. Just go with the flow. Take your time. We're, things are going on behind the scenes in your favor. Trust the process. Okay, Capricorn? Something needs to break down so that you can follow the path that you are meant to follow. And it's going to cause you to forgive. And seriously, you're going to need to forgive. Probably yourself or somebody else because I see that there may be some guilt involved. And this tells me that forgiveness is needed. Okay? There could be some manipulation going on. Alright? That makes you feel insecure. I'm going to get the next pull. I'm going to keep shuffling as I speak. Um, there's definitely security and stability in the future. Okay? Right around the corner. But something needs to break down first that is false. False. We have a false foundation here that must crumble. Okay. It All it does is bring drama to your life. All right. It's time. It's time for your life to get back on track. And I think you have universal help. There's definitely some desires this week. Okay, there's like there's sexual desires. Okay, so there's impulsiveness. Maybe somebody acted impulsively regarding their sexual desires and some secret is about to come out regarding that because I feel like some secret is about to come out. But you have to remember that there's karma here. There's a need to forgive yourself or the other person. Everybody makes mistakes. There is definitely a need for forgiveness. Either you or yourself. These are both forgiveness cards. You need to love yourself again. You need to head in the direction of love. All right? I feel like um, for many of you, for some of you, for who, somebody is watching this where there is going to be a new love that enters your life because of this shakeup. Okay? So if there is a shakeup, let it happen. It's going to bring you something better. This is a blessing in disguise. All right. I think that many of you are becoming more spiritual. All right. I see that many of you are developing more spiritual abilities. You're become, listening to your intuition more. You're listening to your inner guide. You are waking up. There, We do have an awakening here as well. This, they all mean so many things. This is also an awakening. Okay, so many of you are going through a period of spiritual enlightenment, all right? But above all, you need to forgive yourself, all right? There's definitely a need to follow your intuition, seriously. Follow your intuition. Act on your hunches. I see many of you are about to have a new exciting discovery but I have to tell you, it's after this tower card. It is. So something has to crash down before this new exciting discovery comes in. This new exciting discovery could be a new love, a new partner. Okay? But the thing is, is you have to forgive any past heartache, any past guilt. You have to release it and forgive it. It's a time of change for you. Change is on the horizon, Capricorn. It's time for you to just take action, 
do what's right for you, follow your own path, and believe in yourself. This week is about forgiving and waking up in spiritual enlightenment. And for many of you, there will there is a new exciting love in the future either this week or in the future I think this week is a period of forgiving <laughs> releasing guilt okay something is crashing down that needs to crash down so that you can take another path you're being guided to take another path listen please if you get an answer in your gut, in your intuition about whatever this is, listen to it. It's obvious that the answer inside of you is correct with this high priestess and this high priest and this. This is intuition as well. If you get some insight from your inner guide, listen to it. This is an awakening as well. This week is about listening to your inner guide. Spiritual enlightenment, kind of the same thing, all right? Forgiveness and releasing guilt. And remembering that when something crashes down, it's a blessing in disguise because that's what's going to happen or has happened, okay? Many of you are going to have a new love. I just have to tell you that. That's what I see. Could be a new love for yourself as well. Just saying. I'm getting you one of my Archangel Michael cards. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. Explore your options. Woo! That's perfect. Yes, sir. Something is breaking down because it's time. It's time for you to explore your options and head down a different road. That's what I see. Wow. From Archangel Michael, explore your options. My prayer. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love. Helping me see understand and assess all of my alternative options please guide me in the best direction for my health happiness and life's purpose it's the perfect card you're about to be given a fork in the road you're gonna hit the end of the road and you can only go left or right God is gonna guide you in the right direction that leads you to excitement and love Follow your intuition, please, please, please. And make sure before you get there, you have forgiven yourself for anything that you feel guilty about. So Capricorn, this is for the week of November 6th through November 12th. And this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm repeating that because somebody keeps stealing my videos and downloading them as their own. So, I, if you want to know more about me, just watch my welcome video, and I will talk to you next week.